Hello and welcome to Tea Time. How do you like your tea? Or it's cold or spilt, whichever ways we serve it. And I am Ife Oluwa Oshinke, and I'm here with the beauty with brains, Nimi Dekombi. Aww. How are you doing? Thank you. Today's adjective was good. I'm proud of They're you. They're always good. You're you are involved. You're, 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 you're just so choosy. Uh -uh, no, I like the ones that are specific. That are the specific? ones that are uh, delectable. No, I don't like that. Okay, whatever it is. I think I'll just stop giving you adjective whenever it is. How have you been, though? I've been good. You look nice. I like this, your old, you know, African queen braids Seriously, kind of thing. African with those... queen braids. I was trying to give, like, a street vibe. I can't believe that it's African queen that you're getting. Oh, well, anything braids to me is usually it's African, African queen. Yeah. Yeah, apart, African from the father, apart from the fact that it's blonde. So you have issues with the fact that it is blonde? I don't have issues with it. That it's just not African. Oh my God! It's not African Here we enough. go again about what is African and what is not African. <laughs> we don't we don't have blonde girls in Africa. Really? You Do think we? so? They are not Africans, but there are some Australians who are black and have blonde hair. Naturally. Talking about Africans, man. Well, they are dark skinned so. Anyways, that story for another day. Let's talk <laughs> about the story for today, which is um on the coronavirus lockdown and racial protests. The railing graduation for American students, celebrities and political figures united for YouTube Originals Dear Class of 2020, which took place on Sunday, June 7, 2020, featuring speeches on race, congratulatory remarks from Beyonce, Lady Gaga and a host of others. I believe in my heart that the people who are going to make this change happen are listening to me speak right now. I know this is true because it is you who are the seeds of the future. You are the seeds that will grow into a new and different forest that is far more beautiful and loving than the one we live in today. The world feels broken right now. It is broken right now in so many ways, but you know, you're taking your heartbreak and your outrage and you're putting it into action and you are showing that your generation is the one that's gonna heal this. Dear graduates, please remember to take a little bit of time to give thanks to your family members and the community who's been such a big support system for you. You are achieving things your parents and grandparents never could imagine for themselves. You are the answer to a generation of prayers. Now some of you might be the first in your family to graduate from college. Maybe you did not follow the path that was expected of you and you probably questioned everything about your decision. But know that stepping out is the best thing you can do for self-discovery. I know how hard it is to step out and bet on yourself. There was a pivotal turning point in my life when I chose to build my own company many years ago. I had to trust that I was ready and that my parents and mentors provided me with the tools I needed to be successful. The entertainment business is still very sexist. It's still very male dominated. And as a woman, I did not see enough female role models given the opportunity to do what I knew I had to do, to run my label and management company, to direct my films and produce my tours. That meant ownership. Graduates, I hope that what you're going through right now can be your wake up call, that it pushes you not just to think about what kind of career you wanna build, but what kind of person do you want to be? And here's the thing, you have the opportunity to learn these valuable lessons faster than the generations before you. And you can learn them together as a cohort of young people ready to take on the world, no matter how tumultuous it may be. That was extremely amazing ask me and I think that the people that graduated in 2019 will wish they were in 2020 because getting this type of um, commencement speech from um, the press the former president of America the former first lady Lady Gaga Beyonce Alicia Keys come on man like that's a whole lot and I think this is really commendable because um, this is not the best time for any student if you ask me yeah, true. I think um, this is a very, very, uh, this is a wonderful initiative by YouTube and everybody, you know, mm. came together to put this together. Um, this, um, the video had a lot of like huge, when I want to mm. think of people that are big in any industry, mm. you know, Beyonce, BTS, Lady mm. Gaga, Alicia Keys, those are huge names. And mm. then 
former President um, Obama and his wife. So mm -hmm. I, I, I wish that I was even part of like the 2020 graduating class because this is, a re this is really huge. And for me, I would specifically just focus on Beyonce's speech because a lot of people have been going on and on mm -hmm. about, about her speech yeah. and the fact that she addressed so many important um, topics Asia, in her yeah. speech. She wasn't just admonishing them. I felt like her speech was not just for the graduating class of 2020. It was for anybody and everybody who can relate with what she has said. I mean, sexism is something that any woman I in the world... I knew you were going to speak on that. <laughs> please, she specifically spent some time on that topic. Sexism is something that any woman in the world can identify with. It's mm. something that any woman in the world has experienced. The fact mm. that it feels like as a woman, when you want to try to do your own thing, there are so many forces that are against you. So I really, really appreciate appreciated the fact that she did not just, you know, give a speech that was maybe encouraging or motivational. She gave a speech that addressed key issues that some of these graduates were going to face, whether it is racial, the racial disparity, the gender disparity, all of those things. I'm glad that she addressed it in her speech. So for me, I also liked BTS's speech. It wasn't played, but their speech was also very, very, you know, important. The fact that they spoke about, you know, individuals finding your place, the fact that you will rise and you'll fall, all of those. I think those are, um, those are messages that anybody, irrespective of if you're graduating or not, those are messages that anybody can take note of. Yeah, and I totally agree with everything, mostly Beyonce. The rest of them spoke amazingly well yeah, as well. But like you said, Beyonce touched on a lot of topics that are actually bothering on a lot of people's minds yeah, right now. Because yeah. um, she also spoke about being okay to fail because she even used herself as an example that, yes, she has 24 Grammy Awards, but she has 46 losses. So yeah. it's okay to lose, but just know, realize exactly what you want and go for it. She also um, dealt on the fact that you need to be well vindicated within yourself that this is exactly what I want to do before you go for it. So don't just jump on a bad wagon because you're a graduate now and you just feel like, okay, I could do this because A is doing it or B is doing it. Know that this is exactly what I want to do and go for exactly what you want. But we really need to move on. And this next topic is on the identity of the man who vowed to rape Simi's daughter when she turns 18, revealed. Hmm. All right, so for those of you who don't know, Adekunle Gold and Simi welcomed their first child, and um, a guy went on to rant about how much he hates the the, the singers, Adekunle and Simi, and saying that their, their newborn baby may end up being, as he used the word, stupid, foolish, I, and I, all I, of that, as, as the mother and the father. You know, a lot of derogatory terms, and even said that he would rape her when she turns 18. Oh. And this hasn't been sitting well with a lot of Nigerians. In, in fact, I'm included right now because... I'm, I don't think you should sit well with anybody. Yeah, so... I don't know. I don't know. This is really disturbing. Me, I know. As far as I'm concerned, they should find him, arrest him, and they should use him as a scapegoat for people that think that it is okay to joke about rape. You're not just talking about the rape of an individual. You're not talking about the rape of somebody that is already an adult. Ra joking about rape in any way is not even okay at all. You're talking about raping a child that is not even up to a week. When did they give birth to that girl that you're already saying and he has you are, you are plans saying you already have and your future plans are not even plans that make sense. Your plan is to rape her. I hope they catch him, they arrest him, and he serves a long time that in jail. His account was hacked, though that he wasn't the one who put out all this tweet, uh, but he needs please. to prove that to us. Apparently, he has tweeted something like this to, to, about Simi, or was it somebody else before? And this was the same thing he said that it was hacked. So why is it that it is only your own account that they're always hacking to say distasteful things? I Whatever think it should it be is, probed think, and it should be yes, investigated. I, I, I agree. It should be investigated. It should be arrested. And, yeah. um, and people should is, learn to not is, joke about rape. It is very disturbing. And I hope um, Adekunle Gold and Simi are not taking this lightly because um, I think they should take all necessary measures against Definitely. this guy. We saw the guy who spoke about Daddy Freeze's son as well. Yes, and, um, and Daddy Freeze took action. Yeah, Daddy you, Freeze you, took action. You, you so Adekunle Gold and Simi, I just hope you guys are not sitting on your hands on this one. And you're making i know you have a lot on your <laughs> hand right now and it's a bundle of joy yeah, but at the same time we need to protect that bundle of joy so make yeah. take the necessary steps but